Hey, hey, what is going on? My name is VK and welcome to another very exciting Phenomenal Creations video tutorial. And you know, in the past few weeks, I get a lot of suggestions and I mean a lot. You know, a lot of you guys have asked questions about like, VK, how do you get your sound sound so crisp? How is your voice so dynamic and cool in all your voiceovers and tutorials? So... And I was like, yeah, sure, let's go check it out. And so let's not waste this whole video in talking chit chat. Let's jump straight in and watch how do I process my sound in the post. Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to Adobe Audition CC. And this is my sound editor of choice, which is part of the Adobe Creative Cloud suite, just as After Effects, Premiere Pro and Photoshop and all the others. This is their sound editor program. And yeah, now probably some of you are just like, oh no, I don't have Audition CC. Now I can't create those awesome crispy sounds and I'm screwed, right? No, you're absolutely not screwed. This is just a program I like to use and because it's, it looks cool and it's powerful and you can do so much with it and it came with a suit so I was pretty much covered there. But if you're one of those who don't have the program, then I will show you how to do the real similar effect, how to uh, like process your voiceovers with a free software called Audacity. And if you haven't heard of it, you want it, check the description. It will take you to a download link. It's only free for PC, Mac, and Linux, and so on. So check the description if you want it. And click the annotation right now on the screen if you want to skip to that part where I show you the process in Aud uh, not Audition, Audacity. But if you're one of those who have Audition, here we go. So... I just made a small and a real short recording and I will just let you hear it right now real shortly. This is a crisp voiceover. So obviously this is not processed uh, yet, but here I'm using my studio microphone, the Rode NT-USB and it works really well with studio microphones when you're processed it, but you can use any microphone there is, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, so, so what I will show you is how you make this. This is a crisp voiceover to something like this. With just a, pu a push of a button, it will sound like this. This is a crisp voiceover. So you can definitely hear the difference there. So I'll just go back here. And how did I do that with just pressing one key, uh, one shortcut? So let's go straight into that. And I, will, I won't take it separately. I will put everything right now. So we need to record a sequence of facts. And how do we do that? So in Audition, let's go up to Favorites right here, in that top bar, and, and click Start Recording Favorites. So what that will do, it will down here tell that you're recording favorites. And what we will do, it will look for all what, every time you apply a new effect to your, um, to your sound, to your recording, it will record it. It's not recording your screen or anything, it will record all the effects you put on it. So, and then when we have done all the effects, we stop recording, and then you got yourself a preset. But I'll comment that in just a second. So let's start editing this sound here. So select everything on the timeline by clicking Command A or Control A, just like this. So we select everything, and let's go here to the effects rack. And if you don't want to use this, you can also go here to effects, it doesn't really matter. And click this little um, arrow icon here on the first line, and let's go down to amplitude and compression and let's go to dynamics processing. Okay, so here we can see a cool line and this is my own uh, like preset Vico compressor, but it will look like this for you, the default. Um, but what I wanna do is just move this little point there to something and you know, try to get a cool sound and you know, I will show you here my Vico compressor. You can pause here and match up the default, then you can get the exact like me. But play around, you can get some cool sounds by mixing mixing it all up. But I won't go in depth, so pause here, check my values right here, and put it there. And you get pretty amazing stuff there. So let's exit out and click apply here underneath the effects rack. Let's apply, and you can see some stuff happening over there. Um, 
um, then yeah let's go for the second one let's click again the arrow go now this time to filter and equalization like EQ and go to parametric equalizer and then we go to a preset um, a preset you also have the loudness maximizer so what this does is it adds a bit of a low end a little bit more bass to the sound and then some high end some more treble so it gets some really dynamic sound there let's exit it out and click apply and you can see it starts even more like volume there and it's like a screaming version right now we don't want that so let's go back then let's go to effects here you can't click it out here it's pretty weird you have to go here up effects um amplitude and compression and normalize process so just click that and then keep this to something around the night and 95 to 100 kind of like this this will even out the high frequencies and such so click apply I have 98.7 that right there click apply and we'll normalize so nothing is peaking or anything then we can just take it down if we want like this and then let's listen to what we have this is a crisp voiceover oh my god congratulations now you have exact the same preset I use for my voiceovers but hey now we have to do the small magic trick so you can just apply this to any um, audio source we're just hitting one button so you don't have to go all, all that process every time so what we do do you remember we record was recording a favorite so we were recording the sequence of effects so let's go up here to favorites let's go to stop recording favorites and here you can save your favorite and give it some name like your own name and a compressor or a studio compressor it doesn't really matter giving a name so you recognize it and then click OK I already have done this so I don't have it you click OK and I click cancel it doesn't matter so what we then do is we're gonna assign hotkey for it so go to favorites go to edit favorites and it will open up the favorites tab and then you're gonna find your um, um then yeah your favorite there and if you gave it name um the clown dance then it will be here at c clown dance my i named it studio process when i did it and then you can see i have assigned s key to as hotkey so what you do you can go for example i just take an a fade in i just take this favorite you ju you do the exact same thing as your um um, at your favorite you right click on it and go to edit keyboard shortcuts and this will open this window and then what you do is you're gonna find your uh, your favorite so go here under the favorite tab just click the little arrow and find your favorite mine was, mine was the fade in so select it click on add and then you just click on any any key on your shortcut so I click F right now for fading kind of you know and then click OK so then also every time you do that um so i have actually the s key is my my compressor or make my studio processing so if i select everything i just i just undid everything i did and now if i type in s on my keyboard bang i will have this this is a crisp voiceover Super cool, super easy. And now, thanks for watching the audition part. Let's jump in straight into Audacity. So, thanks for watching this part. Hey guys, welcome to Audacity, the free program I talked about in the beginning of this video. So, here is the free solution to how to get pretty cool voiceover sound. So, nothing go more in depth with how to record audio here in Audacity. It's just here you select your microphone. It's to me it's the Rode NT-USB and then just click record so simple and if you want to select everything click on this little gray bar here and you select everything then what we go <coughs> go and do is go to effect go to equalization and this is the exact thing I just seeing here so click on uh, bass boost and I have done nothing to this it's the default bass boost preset then just click OK you can see some stuff happening there now let's go back to effect back to equalization and then this time let's go to treble boost and that will boost up the trebles and the previous as the bass and here we go pretty cool so now we got this this is a crisp voiceover yeah 
Okay, so I'll let you hear one more time the first one. This is a crisp voiceover. And now the processed one. This is a crisp voiceover. So guys, thanks for watching this part. Now we have learned the audacity part. Cool. Hi guys, and thanks so much for watching this video project. And thanks for being such an amazing audience. Once again. And you know, I can really never get enough for you. So don't forget to be that awesome guy who likes up this video. Smash that like button like really hard. And then don't forget to leave a comment. Comment anything, suggestions, VFX or anything, you know, you know the drill. You know, comment anything and thanks again so much for watching this because you're the best. Like seriously, you're the best. You'll be so supportive. I just broken out the 6,300 subscribers and it's so amazing. It's super cool. So the thanks is all upon you. Thank you so much and let's go ahead together and change for the 10 grand. And I hope it's breaking out soon. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. My name is VK and welcome and see you in the next episode. See you guys.